So I chose this fountain to talk over today because I think it's so beautiful. Um, it's right in the middle of the city and um, if you can see there are flowers, um, there's trees in the middle, there's a big fountain in the middle uh, that comes through the trees and I don't know if you can see it from the other side, I haven't been there, but just wanted to tell you a little bit about how I chose hospice and um, how I came to that decision. Um, I had been very sick with heart failure and problems with um, complications from diabetes um, and a lot of infections from a tube in my belly uh, to help me um, to help me get some nutrition because my diabetes had um, basically damaged my stomach and I had spent over the past prior over the prior uh, two years I spent more time in the hospital than I spent at home and I decided I was done with it. I was having procedure after procedure, um, oftentimes painful, oftentimes requiring um, long hospitalizations. Um, it was stressful on my friends and family. I was forever in the hospital and I just decided that um, I wanted hospice. Um, uh, I had talked to a cardiologist about a heart transplant and he basically told me that given my weight and the fact that I also have hypertension and diabetes and all sorts of other what they call comorbidities which means other illnesses or illnesses that go along with the main illnesses um, that uh, getting a heart transplant would be more problems than it would solve um, he said if it wasn't a solution, it's just a whole new set of problems. So I decided um, to go with hospice and to be at home and to be kept comfortable um, while I um, did my best to hang on for as long as I can. And um, so far I've been pretty comfortable at home. I've had some scares. I had an episode a few months ago where I was unconscious for a few days. Um, they don't know for, if it was from the medication or if it was uh, because of heart failure because when they found me my lungs were full of fluid. In any case I chose hospice and I'll tell you a little bit more about that probably in another video but basically hospice is end-of-life care. It's mainly comfort care only and um, and basically they don't do anything aggressive you don't go into the hospital for anything the nurses come to you uh, my nurses come two to three times a week now because i'm getting weaker and the heart failure is getting worse at first they would only come like once or twice um, i have i'm lucky i have found a hospice that i work really well with and um, i will talk some more about that at some, on some other video i don't want to make it long but um, basically it's comfort care only. I have a hospital bed, um, everything I need at home. I have all the medications um, to help me breathe um, and um, that's basically it. So I hope that you've enjoyed this beautiful fountain while I tell you a little bit more about how I came to choose hospice and a little bit more about hospice. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free um, to put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer then um, as always this video is from my experience it is not um, a formal endorsement or a, a formal you know definition of what hospice is like for everybody it's just my experience of it so thanks for watching any comments um, leave them below thanks bye